All right, boys and girls, today we're going to read Owen. The title of the book is Owen, written by Kevin Hanks, and the publisher is Green Willow Books. Here's our story. Be good listeners. I will show you the pictures. Yes, Ryan? How do this color Owen? Well, you know what? You might be able to tell me that by the end of the story. Here we go. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He had it since he was a baby, and he loved it with all his heart. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen. And Fuzzy did, upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, and upside down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen. And Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, and applesauce cake. Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around, asked Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers, fill them in, though. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. Does that sound familiar? What do you put under your pillow? Teeth. Teeth, okay. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in its place. Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. Was that where he was supposed to put it? No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said his mother. No wonder, said his father. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy's torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy's perfect. And Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. Can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. But Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. Who do you think Mrs. Tweezers is? Um, Riley, who do you think she is? What? She's a good guess. Well, who, who else could she be? She's looking over the fence into their yard. She's their neighbor. She's their neighbor, trying to give advice. Can't be a baby forever, she said. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Have you ever heard of the vinegar trick? Let's see what she's talking about. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. Owen sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it. He picked a new favorite corner. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around his sandbox, buried it in the garden, dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it. He sucked it and hugged it and twisted it. What are we going to do, asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you ever heard us say no? Owen's parents hadn't, but Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry, and he would not stop. Don't worry, said Owen's mother. It will be all right, said Owen's father. And then suddenly, Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was an absolute Wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First she sniffed, then she sewed, then she snipped again, and she snowed, sewed some more. Snip, 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 sew, sew, sew. 
Dry your eyes, wipe your nose, hooray, hooray, hooray. Now Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. And Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing. Well, Riley, you asked, why is this book called Owen? Why is this book called Owen? Who was the character in this book? Owen. Owen was the main character in this book. And did he have a problem? Yes. What was his problem? What was his problem? Raise your hand and tell me what you think his problem was. Yes? His problem was that he wanted to take his blankie wherever he goes. Yeah, and he called his blankie what? Uh, fuzzy. Fuzzy. He called his blankie fuzzy. He wanted to take fuzzy with him to school. He didn't think he had a problem, but who thought he had a problem? <coughs> Mrs. Tweezers. Mrs. Tweezers, the neighbor. And who else thought he had a problem? Mom and Dad. Try to raise your hand, boys and girls. Okay. Yes, Dylan? His mom and dad thought he had a problem. Yes. How did mother, how did the mother in the story solve the problem, Clayton? How does Tashi solve the problem? You don't remember? Who can help Clayton? How did the mother solve the problem? Don't yell out. Don't yell out. Raise your hand. Michael, how did the mother solve the problem? <coughs> She cut it up and made it into handkerchiefs. Do you know what a handkerchief is? Okay, it's a little piece of material that some people carry around to wipe themselves if they're perspiring or sweating or to blow their nose with. They keep it in their pocket and it's small. Why do you think that was a good idea for him to take a handkerchief instead of fuzzy grace? Was fuzzy small or was fuzzy large? Large. It was pretty big. It was pretty hard to, to hide. Could you hide a handkerchief? Yeah. Where could you put a handkerchief? In your pocket. In your pocket. Okay, so Owen's problem was solved.